In this video, you will discover how to create unlimited business email free in your cPanel like support at Foskey example or at your business name dot com. We are still on in cPanel tutorial for beginner part three, and today is day twenty one of hundred days WordPress Pro free web design course. Smash the subscribe button now, tap the notification bell, and the like button don't also forget i would like to know which country you are so, uh, watching this video from in the comment and what are those things you would like to know more using cpanel as a web designer so before we move on we are still in the under this wordpress pro free course so what's this course all about is about moving you from beginner to wordpress pro in just about like 10 minutes uh, plus or less video daily for 100 days and today is day 21 so which means we've done the one to day 20 and covered a lot so if you want to get access to it is free 100 free check the link in the description you will see a playlist 100 this wordpress play, uh, playlist so you can watch everything from there and at the same time we'll learn more on fuske webmaster dot uh, com so who am i i'm solomon fuske and been any and working from home since 2013 through my uh, web design skill with WordPress, digital marketing, so, so all those things are what I want to teach you free because and also help you to start any passively online with these skills. Any solidly online depend on the skills you have. So we are in the section one, introduction to web design with WordPress. So today's uh, section which is the 21 is now talking about setting up a custom email or professional business email for your business so let's uh, push on the step one is you need domain that carries your business name like foskewebmaster.com foskeexample.com you can watch the day nine video to guide on getting a domain in on name silo and check the link in the description all the links in the description that goes to name silo or some posting or some things are affiliate link which means i earn a commission but it doesn't add to how much you pay in fact some of them add code i have some code like you will still see next step that gives you discount but yet i earn a commission and thanks so much that's a part of supporting me to give this course free so once you have a domain name that carry your business name then the next step so the step two you need a hosting preferably unlimited web hosting plan with unlimited email allowed that's why if you are just watching here and you're a beginner you like to learn more go back to the one between them and the 20 i've discussed some things you should look out for when buying an hosting so some hosting can promise you unlimited hosting plan but limit you to like maybe one two three or four uh business email so all these things you must check it very well so you, you will do better if you want to create unlimited email uh business email to buy hosting that offer you unlimited email included in their unlimited our plan so like gmail now offer about 15 gig and you know it will be at gmail so not customized to your domain then what i use is interserver which gives you unlimited hosting and also you have access to unlimited email this is not about uh, creating and aside from that it also gives you unlimited storage space so it's not that some may even give you unlimited but limit your email to maybe 100 megabyte or one gig so even if you create multiple email the moment you use one gig you can receive email again so that's not it is unlimited just like your hosting why we have blue host which the link is also in the, the uh, description but the first uh plan of about three or four dollars gives you just about five emails so those are very important for you to check before you can have access to unlimited so if you are working as a web designer for a client that they have a lot of staffs 
or it's yourself, your project, you need to create a lot of mail, then you need to get unlimited hosting that offer unlimited email and unlimited storage. Those three things are very important and it's interesting you can get it with our uh, InterServer with my uh, link, affiliate link in the description or visit fullscalewebmaster.com slash InterServer with just starting with just one cent. Using my special code, you start to just one cent and subsequently you pay like five dollar per month and it's monthly you don't need to pay a year up front you renew every month which makes it one of the best cheapest hosting out there so now once you have your domain your email will move to the next step so so watch the 13 video to for guide on buying ship web hosting on InterServer. So day 13, I take you live how to buy your uh, web hosting, how to set it up on InterServer. So and that's the same thing. We bought a web hosting for this course specifically using Fullscape Example.com on Namesilo, then connected it with InterServer. So and that's what I'll be using in all this course to ensure I take you step by step. That's why I do say if you want to support me, what I'm doing, you know paying specially for hosting domain for this project and we need it on a monthly basis you can donate using the link below or visit postkwebmaster.com slash donate so let's move on the step three now is connect your business domain to your hosting so like i said connect your business domain to your hosting so like now we bought host domain name from name silo which i recommend don't like have your domain and hosting together for security and experience so far you are better off to have your domain hosted somewhere else and your web hosting somewhere else and connect them together in case of breach or hack you can easily you know it's very difficult to have both of them breached or hacked at the same time since it's not owned by run by the same company but if it's run on the same company the same server then any breach get you lock out all through the time the things resolve if they ever get it resolved so that's what you need once you have connected it then we move to the next one we are still going live i will show you step by step we log into the cpanel we set up the email so make sure you watch till the end of this video so step four now is log in to your web hosting cpanel and set up as many professional custom business email as your business or client business requires so like i told you before you can set up unlimited you make sure you are using a hosting that allows it you can't go beyond what your hosting allow if they allow just five emails custom business email you can't plan to set up six it won't work if they limit the storage you can't expect to use it and by the time you use it for a while, you may need to delete everything to recreate the space or have to upgrade to more costlier uh, plan. So if you don't want that, make sure you check out our uh, InterServer below with just one cent for the first starting month. So uh, the next thing now, let's get straight. We're going to log in to web hosting uh, panel, set up the email. So this uh, C panel, how do you access the C panel? You your domain uh, slash C panel. So like well, what we're using here is fuskeexample.com slash C panel. So you put in and log in. So we are logging in now. So as you can see, it's this uh, the C panel normally is because I've logged in before. So this is where you be taken to this is your C panel. If you want to, you are new to C panel. Check uh, the previous uh, the 19, the 20, where we have discussed, introduced you to C panel. All these things have introduced you to it, and we are still talking of some things you can now do with C panel. I've talked about this file manager in the previous video. So now you want to locate where you have emails. Our uh, next videos. We are still going to talk about all these add-on and all those things. So the next thing you want to do now is locate email account. Just open it up. 
So this section is where you manage everything about your email account. So as you can see, it said default unrestricted check mail. So now let you manage and create account. This interface now is where you can now create as many email as possible. So let's try that out. Uh, the first email we said we'll use as example is uh, support. So create. So depending on if you have multiple, like I said, this uh, hosting allow you to have multiple domains in just so I'll still talk about how to do that. So this is it now. This is the uh, domain. You select the domain. Then you put whatever name you want to support. Then set password or provide alternative email. So set the password. Then you can see this. So now this is okay for you if you want to share your hosting with some clients. So you can decide to say, okay, you are giving them just five emails or limiting the number of email or you want to give email to somebody and you want to limit what the person uses it for in your organization. So for you to let them know, you just limit, but if not, you just click on limited. So that means this storage is not limited. They, as much as your hosting plan can take, your email also continue to take. So it's not limited to maybe one gig or 10 gig or whatever you have here. So you can see it. No, it's not limited. So just click it on limited. Automatically create folders. Yes, let's let it create some folders when needed. Uh, like when you use some special email character, send a welcome email with instruction to set up. So you can decide to stay on this page. You don't need that. So you just set up your password. So now you can see, make sure your password strength is there. And if you click this, it will review the password so you keep it and then the next thing you want to do is to tap this create so to create this email at whatever domain you select here will be here so if you have multiple email make sure uh, domains make sure you check the domain you are selecting so you can see created support for scale example so the next thing you need to do is to make sure you access that uh, email so that you'll be able to activate it. So first thing, first click on this check email. So later we're still going to discuss the next video about how to log in and things like that. But check this. That's what activates the email. So if you just click it, you may try to go and log in and it won't work. So try to click here. You see webmail login. Then whatever you have, just click on. You can pick any of these to change your web client so you can see it now so this your email so as we have you you've done this you have permanently activated that email and if anyone send mail now to support at fuskeexample.com it will work perfectly well so let's create another email so for you to know that you don't have limit uh, you do the same thing, mark unlimited, set your password. So you tap it here, create. So you can see it. Then the next thing, like I told you, check new. So that permanently activates the new. So there are still a lot of things you learn about managing this custom email, how you access it, different from how you access your Gmail. So you can see it. So this also is already working. So as you can see it now, you have support at Fosca example.com. Hello at so you can create contact, uh, business, uh, whatever as many or just individual to the name of those people. Like I have, uh, I am Solomon now. I may decide to quickly create Solomon to use as my personal business email here. So as you can see, I keep creating and saying nine used, uh, unlimited available. So I still want to keep, I want to create like ten to eleven, so that you can see it that this is not like uh, just a makeup. So like I said, uh, you will see it now that 
I've created almost 12 uh, emails, even minus the default. The default, so let's count it one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, and you could see that most of them are unlimited. I intentionally set these ones like to show you example for like for example this one at me at fusk.com i limited it to 5 gig and you can see it will be telling you the percentage of uh already used out of that 5 gig so just like when you see it here when you try to log in you will see it here slash 5 gig so just like when you have it in your gmail that say slash 15 gig so i try to mimic the gmail here you see the font fusk uh, example.com is 15 gig so if you try to check it here, it will tell you this is the amount quarter you have used out of your 15 gig. So that's a personal limitation you are placing based on the user. But if you are on this inter server, which you can check the link to join and watch the 13, where I show you step by step how to set up inter server hosting. So uh, you'll be able to see and also use my coupon. You can get it for one cent for your first one month. So. You'll be able to see all these then this one as well 5 gig then you see that most other ones are unlimited 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 so if you check this for example you see this anything first k dot example dot com so you see it's not showing any quota because it's unlimited so just continue to use it as much as your hosting uh plan is still available so that's it i've been able to you know i'm not telling you to go ahead and create like 12 emails for fun because that will be some stress or issues so i make sure any email you are not using and you are not sure you are using don't create it so that uh you have less custom business email to monitor and in case anybody want to get on uh, lawful access to it you can easily monitor them so i'll still discuss about how you keep track of all this email let's say you having as much as all this email how do you keep track with just a single email by you know forwarding all the emails they get so it keep track instead of logging into all this email one after the other all the time so we're still going to discuss it in our, our next video so that's how you set it up you set unlimited email custom email so even if it is other domains if you have them you can set them up as well so and you just come here when they are much you use this to search for that particular email you can see it so if you bring it up you search for you see it so it makes it easier so now we'll move to how you log in to this email without having to come through i've showed you now how you come through here check mail but will you have to always come into your cpanel no there is a very easy shortcut to do that once you set it up here once there's nothing you need to come around doing here all the time so step five is how to log in to your business email so like you've seen it there so how do you now log in so let's get back to that like now we have set up the email and they are all set up on fuskyexample.com so you just need to use your business name.com or .net or whatever you are using .org or whatever slash webmail so and you'll be taken to this page let's check the page out so you can see it now it's trying to so like i said just fuskyexample.com slash webmail you can see it whatever your own account is so just put in the email and then put in the password so whichever email you want to use just type it this thing are deletable like anything let's use the example dot com so then you fix in the password so you can see login successful you can see this was the same interface you were brought to when you were accessing it through the cpanel so you can see it too. it's the same thing you don't need to go back to cpanel again like i said just click on 
any of this email uh, manager you want to use so you can just click this or mark it as permanent should be opening for you once so this is it now you can see your email is ready so if i try to expand the browser you can see inbox draft saint jones and just every other thing there normally just as you would in your gmail or yahoo or whatever email uh, you are using so let's move on to the next thing the next step step six is customize basic things in your uh, business email like your display name signature and lot more so that's the next thing you need to do so now you have this don't forget to click on the subscribe button tap the notification bell if you have any question about this video or about cpanel and this wordpress uh, course just go to the particular video ask question relating so that i can answer you specifically so let me know the country you commenting from and how far this video has helped and then what are those features you still want me to make future videos on so if you want to customize it what you need to do is to go to your settings so because uh, you come there are different settings their preference folder identity response so you can just play around the user interface the time zone the mailbox you know all these things just check display message display html is very important then compose message this compose message i usually prefer to set it to html that's what makes it easier to include link and make you you know write bold all those things if you don't make it your composing your mail will just be like a plain text so every time you want it to be saving i can just put it at three minutes so that i can hardly lose any mail or anything i'm setting up so that's this when replying starts a new message above i prefer above so and you can just click save so the next thing you get back to your preference so uh, the next one you want to check out let's see this special folder server settings all those things you can just take them uh, the folder like this draft if you want to create more folder to keep some things this is a business so you can arrange it proposal mails all those things you can arrange it there create new one and then we have identities this is very important so by default this is just going to be showing this so you need to put the name you want this to carry so for example if at every point in time i want this to carry uh, my name solomon first key so that's what will be there so the organization puts your company or even if it is just your name you put it there so reply to you just leave it they reply back to this or if you want them to reply to another email and if you send mail do you want it to copy anybody anytime so if you are setting for a client and they want to monitor whatever mail goes out of this or in like that then you can be bc bcc them so then set default so then the next thing is your uh, signature so this signature make it uh, either like when you compose a message let's see if I usually like if you compose a message thanks so the one first key founder first key example so example.com so you can see it now so using HTML is what gives us the opportunity to be able to boot this give it color or even increase like you see so 
whatever you can increase this like 12 and put it as well and the same thing you can just tally this and put it at 12 as well so if you want to put it to put it if not you can just leave it that way so and you can always also change the color and see it and even the uh, text like change the font and all those things so once you do all this just click on save so what this does is then the response you can set up like a response that you can pick later at any point in time just used to uh, respond fast response thanks for reaching out So when you have something like this, you can see it, then you click save. Oh, I this should be fast response. So the next thing now, let's go back to inbox, then click on compose and let's try and see. So you can see it now so if if you didn't change this to html all these things will just be text and you see all these are immediately it has help you fix your uh this so whatever you want to put your number your address or whatever position or whatever you just fix even for everyone that has that you are giving the email or something so you set it up and you'll be able to write your email here and you know maybe send the mail to herself So that's it. Thanks for your patronage. And then you click on send. You see that this is already fixed for you. So you just send. So send message sent successfully and instantly you can see it here. So you see that this is the name that we changed earlier. So if we didn't change it, it will just be called, uh, support. It will just be support. So you can just say, uh, First key example support or something like that. So I client, thanks for your patronage. You see it, and like I said, if since this might be like a support, not a so if you don't want it to like carry maybe your name, like I uh, you have like your own name, maybe Solomon at first key example.com. So that can carry your name. This can just be uh, first key example support team so whatever anything you do that's the name it will carry so if you go back to this and try it again support at first key example dot com Subject purchase receipts hello delete here is your receipt. So, and there is an option here, you see it, attach a file, 
the tongue received the delivery status notification if you want to get it and priority you may set it high low or something but leaving it as normal is still okay as well save sent message in sent so that's it that refreshing you have already set it to be saving the messages every 33 minutes so and in case your signature is not here you can always click here to insert it so you see so you can always click here to insert it so if maybe you deleted this while composing your mail <clears throat> once you are done just click insert signature you see it signature inserted so that's it so let's send it back again message sent successfully so you can see it now that the name here is different from here now so that's why it is very essential don't just leave it at default so that once people see this mail they know where it's coming from and not just default of the email so that's it those are the basic essential customization you need to know uh, which to get set immediately you set up your uh, professional custom business email with your domain for your business or for your client business so in the next video let's uh, check the next step we will go through so the next steps you need to do is if how to forward your messages from your business email to gmail or whichever email so that it becomes easier for you to manage and monitor incoming email so each what i usually do is to forward most of this email because when you handle a lot of them it becomes on ease for you to keep tab on three four five different emails so but if you forward it to a single maybe gmail or something then it makes it easy once you receive a message you'll be able to stay up to date with emails and not miss anyone that's one then two when you now need to respond then you know the particular email you need to log into and reply not that you need to be checking a lot of all those email either they have email or you need to respond or something that could be very stressful so you discover that in day 22 video and also in day 23 we'll talk about setting up auto responder to auto reply and come email to your business email so once we are done with that we'll continue with other section of our c panel so let me hear your comment below what else do you want us to add up to this email uh, custom email or what experience have you had let me know in the comment down below don't forget to like subscribe tap the notification and share this video and if you like what i'm doing i like to support you can check to donate using the uh, first key webmaster.com slash donate or check the link in the description at the same time also you can purchase from any of my link in the server and things like that and i earn a commission so thank you so much and bye for now